chief guest teachers elders and my dear friends assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh today we have assembled here to celebrate the greatest day in the history the total world was waiting for this day to come it's our pride prestige that our ancestors collectively fought with their great effort and won the battle to provide us the precious gift in the form of freedom independence we were one we won but gradually the freedom is being stolen my dear respected listeners now i would like to present few historical facts which were hidden from the history the false fake thoughts are being created to improve misconceptions differences among the friendly living communities the but gradually the selfish leaders are trying hard to dispute with false history one thing you remember real is real no one can erase reality from the history now it is it become fashion that muslims are terrorists they have no role in india they have done nothing for this country you people see who raised the flag against the britishers in force 1757 nawab a young dynamic courageous warrior sirajuddaula who had released the fatwa against the britishers in force 1803 Abdul Aziz Dehlvi rahmatullah alai who was the first prince matted with britishers Tipu Sultan Shahid rahmatullah alai in 1799 who participated much in the battle of 1857 ulamas thousands ulamas hang to trees from Meerut to Delhi who is the captain of Indian National Army Abbas Ali who donated money for Indian National Army Abdul Habib Yusuf he donated 1 crore rupees and jewelries in those time who spent much time in 15 years in Andaman Nicobar and Malta Kalapani jails ulamas and professors who raised the slogan inqilab zindabad maulana hazrat hasrat mohani who proposed the quit india movement and saiman go back yusuf meher ali who saved the life of gandhi ji batak me ansari who spent his 45 years in jail in his 94 years life khan abdul gaffar khan who designed tricolor flag surya badruddin tayyab ji of hyderabad like this if i continues to say the names books can be printed the ulama spared their precious lives for this country the muslims not only paid their lives but poured their wealth to achieve the freedom you remember one thing all indians have one right to live here as an indian but a muslim has two rights double power to live here as an indian why why because non muslims by birth and indian so they have right to live here as an indian but a muslims by birth and indian one right another when they get chance to leave it they didn't leave they said we born here we will live here as an indian that's the double power right for the muslims to live here as an indian we all are one we must see the interest of all we must live impartial maintain dignity we should not snatch the liberties of others we must respect each other particularly women she is our wife daughter sister mother teacher neighbor prophet of the world hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said respect the women she is your mother search the paradise at her feet this country is ours we must protect it develop it maintain its dignity praise it build it but don't snatch it but don't destroy its liberty don't crush its unity we our culture is our pride my dear respected listeners please join hands for justice fight for the right cause humanity if we can't do it if we won't do it the coming generations won't spare us allah may bless us to do the good things for the future generations ameen assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi